with magnificent scenery and so many great places to see. Tour Colorado, come to life. Tour Colorado can't wait to see your groups in this breathtaking state. For more information, go to colorado.com slash meetings and tours. This is Motor Coach Travel News, MTN, from the American Bus Association. Here's Dan Ronan. Welcome to the American Bus Association's Motor Coach Travel News. I'm Dan Ronan in Washington. The ABA's marketplace in St. Louis is just a few days away. Here's ABA President and CEO Peter Panduso to talk about some of the great things you'll experience in St. Louis. Last year we showed that over $130 million in business got done as a direct result of being at Marketplace and every company that was there on average did about $80,000 worth of business for their company, a 30 to 1 return on the investment that they put into coming to Marketplace. So when you put, put all of those elements together, the Marketplace is a great place to do business and, and, and not only begin your business for the coming year, but also for years to come with the relationships you, that you develop. But it's also a great city to do business in. So coming to St. Louis and coming to Marketplace is going to be first rate and people are excited to be there. Each year at Marketplace, a number of motor coach and travel and tourism industry leaders are recognized for their great work. A number of years ago, some of the different publications came to us and they said, you know, Marketplace is such a great venue. We'd like to use Marketplace as a way to recognize people in the industry that have done some, some amazing things. And so Metro Magazine, Bus Ride Magazine, this year Serendipity, uh, last year and this year the Poli Group, which is going to do an award for women in buses. All of those publications have come together and said, let's use Marketplace as a way to recognize the industry, those who have given back, those who have provided exemplary service, those who are great operators, those who, who have done some, some, some amazing things within their profession. And so this year, I think we've got more than a half dozen awards that are going to be given to various people throughout the motor coach and travel industry, recognizing them for the good work that they do every single day. The ABA and its partner, Motor Coach Industries, are also sponsoring, again this year, the Green Spirit Award, recognizing companies that have taken extraordinary steps protecting the environment. The Green Award that, that has been long supported by MCI, that, that is done in conjunction with the ABA Environment Committee, University of Vermont, because they've got a, a green operator program in place, you know, that is, that is really a, a special award. It, it's been around for a few years, and it looks at the, the total not an environment, an, an environment in terms of the operating environment, but, but how these companies are really protecting the environment with many of the practices that they have. And, and it includes training, it includes the way they operate their buses, it includes the kind of fuel they buy, the kind of recycling programs they have in-house. So it's a great award. And this year for the first time in, in memory of our, our past, our lost colleague, uh, Norm Littler, we're going to be giving a, a safety award recognizing uh, or in the name of, of Norm, who just did so much great work in the, in the safety environment. This coach runs on diesel, which is about 30% more efficient in its combustion than gasoline. But I know what you're thinking. Diesel isn't clean burning. But that's no longer true, because today's ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel is cleaner than ever. Check this out. <laughs> it burns clean. All aboard the green highway. MCI. Ultimate curb appeal. Uncompromising reliability.
have you got? What have we got? Have you got now? We got now no sleep. It's time now for the Green Operator segment, sponsored by MCI. It's designed to make MCI motor coaches the most well-built and reliable in the industry. Now you're going to hear from one of MCI's employees, who was one of the frontline leaders at the Winnipeg plant. In the three stations that, we man that I manage right now, that has quality of source established, um, I have a total of 20, 21 operators and with three team leaders. While the plant has many specialists, workers are being cross-trained so they understand each other's jobs. And employees are being encouraged to speak up if something isn't right on the production line. We're enabling the operator to understand what they're building, how they're building it, what, they, what is the expectation for quality, and how much time they have to build it in. We've also implemented a, no, a numerous amount of uh, support system in order to enable the operator, for that operator to be able to do their task efficiently, more successful, and in the time that they're allowed to do their job. We're definitely going in the right direction. We're achieving first time quality. When people first think of Colorado, they might picture the majestic Rocky Mountains, the historic trains, scenic national parks, or the breathtaking byway views. However, you might be surprised to know that one of the foundations of the state's tourism is agriculture. Colorado wine country is dotted with an ever-growing number of orchards and vineyards that open their doors for group tours and tastings. Mom and pop road stands and community farmers markets turn out premium wines and delectable jellies, honey, soaps, and more. Groups connect with the family-friendly locals and have an opportunity to pick up a one-of-a-kind gift to take back home. Farm to Table Cuisine not only offers the chance to feast on Colorado's seasonal fruits and vegetables, it also connects the dining experience to the heritage and culinary expertise of a destination. Groups can take a behind-the-scenes peek at one of the many craft breweries located throughout Colorado and get a genuine taste of Wild West culture with ranch tours and cookouts. Be sure to stop by the Colorado booth at Marketplace for a taste of Colorado. That's Saturday, January the 10th, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. during the networking floor reception. And that's the latest edition of the American Bus Association's Motor Coach Travel News. I'm Dan Ronan in Washington. We'll see you back here next month.